Jesus. I believe do you believe in sacraments? Do you believe that you, in order for you to receive salvation, do you believe that you have to keep the sacrament? What's the sacrament? Please so that. basically, in order for you to receive salvation, first of all, you've got to be baptized. Then you have to be confirmed all the time. And then you have to uh, continue to do this. Continue to do the Continue to say that. Yeah, I, and was then, born, I, was, I, was, I was born Catholic. I was baptized Catholic. Right. I've been to I've moved out to London. I stopped following the church. <laughs> Over the last year, I've been I started to try and find Jesus. Oh, myself. I have found Jesus there. Jesus, my son. I'm looking at now Christianity, and I'm looking at the Trinity, and I'm looking at. Um, right. So you haven't been Greek. saved yet, by the sounds of it. I haven't. No. no. I'm looking. I'm searching. All oh, right. Okay. Well. Okay. But what I don't understand is, is today is about unity. It's no, about there's no unity. No, no, there, there is you have unity. to understand there is not. The, the, the no, people, the no it's people. not about this world. Jesus said, set your mind on the things above and not, not on the things of the world. The judgment is coming on the whole world. Absolutely. But we can have judgment a is coming yeah. on the world. Absolutely. All right? yeah. So then you can't save a nation when the whole world is going to be burned up. This is false. This antichrist, anti-ignoring no, does you, not. Realize anti what we're facing at the well, you need to. You are the government at the moment. You need we to. We need to get over the government who's getting right. the with Islam. That's no, what we need to do. no, you're not going to be able to. The only way we can help anybody is, is get to, together no, as Christians. No, but you're not a Christian. We need yet. to stand unity. You just admitted that, and I agree. No, I'm Let, I, Hold on, I was born Catholic. I'm looking for Jesus. Right. I class myself as a Christian because. I believe that Jesus died on the cross okay. for us. Okay, all right, so, well, all right. So Fine. don't say I'm not a Christian. I'm searching not? to become a Christian. Okay, well, the only way you can do that is through Jesus Christ. Absolutely. So then... It's one thing to believe that Jesus had died for the whole sins of the whole world. Most people, I was one of these people. I used to be Catholic as well. All right. I believe that Jesus died for the sins of the world. I believe that I had to be good. That going to church made me a good person. I believe that doing the sacraments made me good. I believed a, a priest when he told me my sins were forgiven. I did all of that. All right, but it wasn't until Jesus Himself brought me to the end of myself that I thought I cried out to Jesus to help. I realized, I realized that you know I was a sinner and I couldn't continue to live on the way that I had. I reached the end of myself and I cried out to Jesus and I said, "Lord, save me." Well, actually, the words I used was "help me," and then from that he did he saved me and when he saved me he completely changed my heart and everything about me changed it wasn't you know i had a desire for god i had a desire for the bible i had a desire i had a desire to forgive my enemies pray for the people that hurt me but you know what i went back to the catholic church the same church i've been in for years and years and years and i realized that it was a very dark place and that god wasn't in it and at that point i didn't know the bible i didn't know the scriptures but i just knew that god wasn't there no and then i eventually i picked up my bible and i started reading it and then when I started reading it, I realized the discrepancies between what they teach and what the Bible say, they're two different things. Yeah, absolutely. And so I came to this realization, obviously, you know, I spent years studying the scriptures before I thought I went out and started preaching. I didn't just go out, I spent years studying the Catholic Church, years studying the Bible, years studying the differences of religions and things like that before the Lord let me go out and start preaching. And so, you know, it's one thing, you know, I don't like what I see. I agree. We have, you know, I don't like the uh, things going on with regards to Islam. Hold on, no, no. Britain let me... needs Christianity. Christianity. No, this, what this, we let need let is Jesus Christ. Like, I did that in for a long time when I did All this. Right, okay. All right. All I'm saying is, at present, okay, we've been taken over by uh, elite woke overlords, okay? So we've been taken over at the moment. Our, our government has been infiltrated by elite quote overlords, okay? And they are taking over our country. And what we're seeing right now, right now with this election, is you're seeing Labour, who are a left-sided party, getting into bed with Islam all over the north to gain power, okay? Now, as far as I'm concerned, 
is the on the far right. The right. Okay. The the fascist, they want the to exterminate. The bullpen ship They want to exterminate all Christians. Alien journal and hypocrites. The bullpen ship clothing. They need to they only know the Bible, but they are the devil agent. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're the only people down there preaching the truth. They're exposing the lies. No, they're not. You preach any other gospel, you're a curse. You preach any other Jesus, you're a curse. Amy and John are probably two of the bravest people down there because they're the only ones brave enough to stand up for the true gospel. That's proper, that was no, on. you can't. There's no unity with light and darkness. Blessed are you when you are persecuted for righteousness' sake. And you know what? As much as I don't like it, you're not going to save the world. The world is going to burn up. God is in control. The only way we can help anyone is to preach the true gospel. If you want Jesus, you've got to come to Jesus. You have to come to the end of yourself. You have to realize that you are a sinner in need of a savior, Absolutely. and that nothing you do can make you good enough with God. Oh, no. And you don't just believe he died for the sins of the whole world you have to believe that he died for you personally and when you cry out to Jesus and you say Lord Jesus have mercy on me a sinner and you believe in your heart that he died on the cross for your sin was buried and raised on the third day Jesus will save you and when he does he'll give you a new heart put his spirit in you and bring you into a relationship you want to know God's true church it's his people Jesus is the cornerstone we are the foundation people and no, but it's not the it's Catholic Roman. No, but if you believe in a false Jesus, you're not saved. If you believe in a false gospel, Galatians 1 8 said you're a curse. It truth matters. Jesus said, I came not to bring peace, but a sword. I don't like what I see going on in this country. I've had to deal with the two tier policing. I don't like it, but I know that God is in control. And He tells us to set our minds on the things that are above, not on the things of this world. The things of this world is temporary. Judgment is coming whether we like it or not so the best thing we can do jesus is to preach jesus christ that's it that's the only way we can help and we don't just preach to muslims we preach to catholics mormons seventh day adventists we preach to everybody and anybody that is willing to listen to god's truth i mean even according to islam jesus will judge them in the day at the, at the hour so god bless your sister anyway but you have to be born again, and the only way you can do that is through faith. You want Jesus? Come to Jesus directly, personally. Cry out to him, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Believe in your heart that he paid for your sin, that every sin you've ever committed was now to that cross, and that you can't pay your sin. The sacraments won't save you. The church won't save you. No one else can save you except Jesus Christ. You believe that in well, here? We he, tell he, Jesus he, he he'll save you. For us. No, 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 it, but this, so. I used to believe like, you. I used to believe he died for the sins of the whole world and that I had to be good. But the moment I realized I wasn't good and that I did, it's you know. No, but, but my point is this. No, but I was, Jesus that's what I believe. Okay, but you know what? That's what I believe. And although I, I thought that my good deeds will outweigh my bad. All right? But I realized that, you know, I reached the end of myself. And I cried out to Jesus, Lord, help me. And he did. He saved and that's when Jesus gave me his righteousness. I stand in the presence of the Father, not in my righteousness, but in Jesus. I stand in his righteousness. And it's through him that I have eternal life. It's through his righteousness that I'm good with the Father. I've got no works. I read my Bible. I pray. I go, I, well, I don't go to church all the time, but occasionally, well, I say occasionally, I haven't been for a little while. But, you know, I do I do things, I do stuff. I'm not going to talk about what I do, but I do stuff. And, you know, but you know what? Not one thing makes me good. Only Jesus. Yeah. Only Jesus. And the work I do, I do in the Spirit. And it comes from the Spirit. And so the only one that is glorified in what I do is Jesus Christ. Yeah. And that's it. I appreciate that. So call on Jesus from your heart. 
believe that he paid for all of your sin and you will have salvation. You're not going to find him in the Catholic Church or any other religion or any other church. You find him in your living room and you fall down on your knees and you say, Lord, have mercy on me. And you mean it from here. That's when and you believe that he paid for you personally. He's your personal Lord and Savior. Not just the sins of the world, but your personal sins. Yeah, so you'll find Jesus when you call on him from your heart and say, Lord, have mercy on me. Okay. All right. God bless. All right.